Well, tie me to a pig and roll me in mud. The firing squad is coming back. <laughs> Which is awesome. Uh, South Carolina last year just joined my home state of Mississippi, also Utah, also Oklahoma, to keep the firing squad going as a penalty for death row inmates. But first off, before we talk about this, make sure you are subscribed because every time someone subscribes to this channel, a liberal on a brand new diet plan gains 15 pounds overnight. <laughs> so hit subscribe. We want to make sure they pack on some winter weight. All right. So I've been doing some thinking. If we're bringing back the firing squad, I want to nominate myself. I make a motion right now to nominate myself as chair of the Rules and Regulations Committee for the squad, okay? And if you want to make an additional motion to support me, just comment, let's go Brandon, right down below. I'll see you and in a hypothetical world, it will be beautiful. You know, it's like my granddad used to say, y'all, and uh, he would he was just had a great line about this. He's, I don't believe in the electric chair. That's how we talk. Uh, <laughs> I believe in electric bleachers. <laughs> granddad had a point, you know, fry them all. They've already had their chance. So here's a question on the table right here. We're talking about the fire squad. Who merits this kind of thing? Well, obviously, we're going to say rapists, uh, murderers, pedophiles, and maybe a few defense attorneys. We can look at that later, okay? But also, I believe that we should televise it, without a doubt. And uh, it ain't going to be like some kind of channel that you got to deliberately search for. I'm talking about a complete override. It comes on your, your channel like a severe weather alert in a trailer park, all right? <laughs> Tornado F5 Twister headed for Memphis. Take cover. And except it's going to be, we interrupt this program to deliver swift justice to the American taxpayer. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Everybody just cheers. Now, y'all, I did some research that, honest to God, I should get a Nobel Prize for. It is called, I like to title it, The Cost of a Bullet Versus 50 Years in Prison. So we got housing and food, and that whole thing runs about 30000 a year uh, per prisoner. 50 years of that is $1.5 million, and we're just talking about one single scumbag here. Now these right here, my friends, this is a 22 Thunderbolt. I've been shot in the butt with one of these things. It hurts like hell. But not exactly what I would call lethal, unless it's absolutely the perfect shot. But the point is, there's seven cents around. Seven cents around, you wanna talk about a money saver? Next order of business, I would let teenagers who really don't know how to use a gun, I would let them practice on the scumbags. We ain't giving you trained Navy SEALs who know how to perfectly put a pin dot on your heart and make it easy with no suffering. No, 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 no. I'm gonna give them a scope that ain't even dialed in yet. First bullet may hit you in the ankle, second bullet may pop up in the shoulder, but we'll get her done. Gets even better though. As chairman, I wanna make sure that every single American has to register their opinion. Are you for or against the death penalty for rapists, murderers, and pedophiles? Because if you want these scumbags to live, that's fine. However, that tax money has to come out of your pocket for the next 50 years, not ours. Okay, so everybody's opinion is gonna be registered. Now for a little math class. This is where it gets real fun. If we're talking about, well, there's only about 20,000 inmates right now that are in max security prisons in America today. If they live about another 30 years on average, okay, that's 20,000 times 30,000 bucks a year, which is $600 million times about uh, 30 years. That rings up y'all to be $18 billion to taxpayers to keep these scumbag filth intact. 18 billion. However, <laughs> y'all take Uncle Buddy's idea, okay? To 20,000 prisoners at seven cents a pop, no pun intended. We could have all 20,000 of them off of America's payroll for 1,400 bucks. <laughs> Damn, I'm good. So to recap, we just saved $18 billion. We taught teenagers valuable marksmanship. We gave swift justice to the victims, amen, okay? And any other prisoners that are in for lighter crimes like uh, theft, or drug trafficking or any of that kind of stuff, uh, they get to dig the 20,000 holes to set an example for what's gonna happen to them if they don't straighten up. You know, it's like old John Wayne used to say, there's one or two ways we can do this and neither way is gonna work out good for you. <laughs> Comment below if you'd like to volunteer for the firing squad. Hell, we're creating jobs here, y'all. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I wanna hear from you. We're definitely gonna put a new uh, meaning to the term squad member, that's for damn sure. Um, before I go, I wanna say, if you want some non-politically correct country music, 
I got 10 full albums on Spotify, Apple Music, all available for your immediate consumption. It's all on there. I think it'll put a smile on your face. Bring back the firing squad. I think you're going to see a whole lot more people behaving because in a just world, I am the president of the United States. Y'all